can have a house, but if you're not gay, you have to live on the street. So if I don't have butt sex, I can't have a place to live. But if I do, I, I'm good. Is that how it goes? Well, that's what you're saying, right? That's what she's saying. She's saying it's housing for LBTQ. No, I'm just making the point. I know, but I'm just telling you the point. Because my question is not going to be true. Well, that's worth it. The 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China now officially begins. Please all rise and sing the national anthem. When we solemnly hold to the revolutionists and the proletariat, Comrade Mao Zedong, Zhou Enlai, Liu Shaoqi, Zhu De, Deng Xiaoping, and Chen Yun, and to those revolutionary martyrs, let's pay an, a, a moment of silence. Moments over. Please be seated. Respectfully, ma'am, you're saying ask us why. Y'all have been talking for 20 minutes, okay? We know why. We know why you're mad. Let's talk about it. The 20th CBC National Congress. Together, the number of delegates is 2,379, and today, 39 persons have asked for temporary absence, and the total attendance is 2,340.
On behalf of the 19th Central Committee of the Communist Party of China, I will now deliver a report to the 20th National Congress. I'm going to explain it, so shut up for one minute. Okay, shut up. I want to ask her why she defund the police, why innocent blood are going down the street, and she's going to explain to you why. Okay? So give her a chance to explain. We all want the same answer. Give her a chance to explain. Okay, please. Advance towards the second centenarial goal. The theme of this Congress is holding high the great banner of socialism with Chinese characteristics. Fully upholding fundamental principles and break new ground, forging ahead with enterprise and fortitude, and strive in unity to build a modern socialist country. So that's an American community, and we respect white American, black American, Spanish American. That's what the country is all about. We have to give Century ago, the Communist Party of China has taken a remarkable journey. Our party has dedicated itself to achieving lasting greatness for the Chinese nation and committed itself to the noble cause of peace and development for humanity. Our responsibility is only to be important our mission for glorious young people. It is imperative that all of us and the party never forget our original aspiration and founding mission that we always stay modest, prudent, and hardworking.